hey beautiful it is july 8th well it really doesn't matter because this is a timeless message but yeah i hope you're doing well i hope you're feeling great i hope you have the best day possible moving forward so i read a little day in this bible again and today it was chronicles 5 18 through 681 And then it was also Psalm 6, 1 through 10, and Proverbs 18, 20 through 21. So, this one was very interesting. Um, The first thing that kind of caught my eye was the fact that God handed this group, it was a tribe, he gave them everything, like they needed because they cried out to him during the battle like it says he answered their prayers because they trusted in him when you really trust you're gonna get everything if you're like okay it's kind of like you have two friends right and one friend you trust with everything like you trust them they always they know you trust them they get the vibe that you, you trust them and it's a vibe but the other friend, like, you kind of treat them a little differently because you don't really trust them or you look at them a certain way or you don't, I don't know. You just don't trust them. So they feel that energy. So the friend that's feeling the better energy is going to give you everything that you need, everything that you want, everything that you ask for with no hesitation. Like, y'all got each other back for real. Like, y'all really locked in. So you really have to trust and just know that everything is going to be okay. And even when you're not trusting, you tend to, like, double-check on something or try to do something yourself or just put in the energy of doubt and lack or limitation into the batch. It, like, weighs you down, kind of, because you only have a... Without the lack, limitation, or the fear, you're free, like... There's no extra weight. There's no extra baggage. There's no... You only take what you need. It's like packing a suitcase. You can take five outfits. You know you're going to be there for three days. You can take five outfits, six outfits, maybe, you know, one for the day, one for the evening, and then you got your night clothes, da-da-da-da. But then you're like, maybe I need to wear this. This might happen. This might happen. So you done packed 20 outfits and your luggage, about $74 to take on the plane. When you could have just packed what you needed, then you don't even end up... You don't even use all the things that you packed because you didn't trust in your abilities or trust that you would have enough. You got to trust that you have enough. Whew. Trust that you have enough, baby. And then what else? Oh, okay. So there was these group of people who were good they were brave they were famous and they were the heads of their families but because they were unfaithful to god and it says and they prostituted themselves to the gods of the peoples of the lands like who do you love for real who do you worship and god already destroyed these people that you're worshiping so you're just gonna follow them instead of following god like, you know the right thing to do, but you want to go over there with them because they're doing it and they done convinced you to do it. But it's like, they already got in trouble for doing it once. So now you're going to go and get in trouble with them. You got to you gotta be in it for real to live this life or you got to get out. You got to pick one. Like we were saying yesterday, you got to give it up. When you say, when you say give it up, baby, you got to give it up. You got to give it up and let it go. And let them handle what they need to handle. Trust that they're going to get their job done. No micromanaging. What else? Okay. Next page, baby. Okay, I just found it funny how it was saying David put in charge. These are the men David put in charge of the music and the other house of the Lord. After the art came to rest there. Because it was saying something like. Um, oh it was just the. Somebody was in charge of the music. Somebody was in charge of the. Duties of the tabernacle. 
they ministered with music before the tabernacle the tent meeting until solomon built the temple of the lord in jerusalem they performed their duties according to the regulations laid down for them i've just found it funny because you know i've decided to really become an artist and embrace my talent my gift of being an artist creating music <clears throat> um like just now so it was just funny um what else Oh, I was sitting there, and it was in front of this building, and they were playing music, right? And I was like, mm, it's kind of loud. But I'm like, okay, it'll be good background music, because they have the best music. It's so positive. Like, I shazammed, like, four songs. One of them was um, by Alice Jemima, and she was saying, you'll never know who you meet, just look. And right before that song came on, this elderly couple had walked by and she was like great place to study and I was like you know right you you are right because I was debating if I should come here but I was also asking my intuition like where should I go like something just told me go to the front so I went to the front and it's just that intuition which I asked for in my prayer earlier today which we talked about yesterday about setting your intention for today, saying what you want, and then expecting it to come. And I wanted to be, I wanted to, I asked for guidance to go in the right direction and the strength of my intuition to lead me there, to trust that I'm going the right way, to trust the nudges that I get. Like, you have to trust the intuition, child. And that was just confirmation with her saying good place to study that I was in the right place. Everything is just so connected. Like, when I say everything is connected, everything is connected, everything is. You, it's just your choice to choose to see that connection. And then once you start seeing a connection, you will always be able to detect and feel the connection. You will always stay connected. Let's see. Okay, so this guy was on trial, basically, like, telling his side of the story. And he said, he was interrupted, and they were like, you're out of your mind. Your great learning is driving you insane. Then he responded, I am not insane, most excellent Festus. He responded, he denied his accusation so calmly and respectively. And that just got me thinking about how, like, quick that we are to get defensive when somebody says something that we don't like. And I was just thinking, like, how are we trained to do that? Like, how is that? I I see three, three, three. Like, literally, they just pulled out the parking lot. But um, <laughs> just how we're so trained to get in defense mode instead of just having a calm conversation and not arguing when you don't agree with what somebody says. Like, it just made me think about that. I'm like, mm, that was that was respectful. Like, and even after that, when I was reading, my tone just got real. Like cool calm and collected because we we have to remain cool calm and collected who child okay then they did a song that was just basically saying like asking for forgiveness it was a song asking for forgiveness and i was having a conversation yesterday about like is it possible that it'll, it can be too late to ask for forgiveness from god or the universe or just you know that it's a ask for forgiveness for your sins is it to it's too late and this just made me see because he said heal me my bones are in agony um i am faint be merciful to me because i am faint save me because of your unfailing love no one remembers you when he's dead <clears throat> which is it kind of connected to us talking about that yesterday like because we were saying what if you just about to die and you like please forgive me for everything like is that too late but i don't think so and i think that was confirmation the lord has heard my cry for mercy the lord accepts my prayers yeah it's never too late to ask for forgiveness it's never too late to forgive yourself at that like not only do you have to ask God for forgiveness, you have to ask for forgiveness from yourself and then grant yourself that forgiveness. Like, you truly have to forgive yourself for all the things you did in the past, the way you used to be. Like, that is what really holds us back from 
kind of rebranding or being who we want to be truly because we can't seem to let go of the hurt we cause ourselves or the trauma but we're the only ones who has the key we're the only one who can unlock that we're the only ones who can let go of that so we have to we have to truly forgive ourselves and once you allow yourself to forgive yourself you can forgive other people easily matter of fact we pulled a card this morning and it was um as i love myself it is easy for me to love others and I was like, hmm, self-love. But it wasn't in the self-love aspect. It was in the forgiveness. Like, if you you want to forgive yourself because you love yourself. And that makes it easy to forgive other people. Because you see how, you can see, oh, I done messed up with myself. You know, like, I forgive you. Because I done been there. I done, I done did some things that, you know, I didn't think I would forgive myself for. Some things I really regret. Some things I didn't mean. You can see that to other people. Oh, child. Okay. And this last one. This last one, I want to put this on a wall or something. It says, from the fruit of his mouth, a man's stomach is filled with the harvest from his lips. He is satisfied. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. I said, oh, you just going to end off on that note? Now, let me break this down. From the fruit of his mouth, a man's stomach is filled. The fruit that you eat, the fruit that you choose, the fruit that you pick, the things that you eat are going to fill your stomach, right? And with the harvest from his lips, he is satisfied. And from everything that you ate, your stomach is satisfied because you chose to eat these good fruits and vegetables. You chose to, you chose to nourish yourself. You know, you selected, you handpicked the things that you put into your body, in your stomach satisfied now the tongue has the power of life and death what you say what you think has the power of life and death it's good or bad you can be eating fruits or you can be eating candy sweets and fast foods you know what i'm saying you could be speaking life or you could be speaking death over things with the things you ask for the things you say the thoughts you think as well and those who love it will eat its fruit if you love your tongue you're going to choose to say the right things with it. The things that you say leave a taste in your life. Oh! The things you say have an aftertaste. And that shows up in how your life is. Mm. So if you love that taste, you're going to speak positively. You're going to say great things. You're going to think great things. Success. You're going to cast these spells of everything that you say over your life as positively as you are able to in any given moment and you know sometimes it's sometimes you slip up sometimes you're not there yet but you're going to continue to work and try to figure out which ones you should pick because it's like if you ain't never nobody ever told you matter of fact in the store yesterday bro tiny hands one of the watermelons so i'm like hmm which watermelon is it you know i done seen the little graphic of like knock on it or something it got a yellow spot or something but i couldn't remember the information so i'm like okay maybe this one got a yellow spot on the bottom i'll take it home cut it open see how it tastes you know take that down yellow spot means this you know it's like kind of hollow not hollow whatever so i'm like next time i'll know which fruit to pick or i'll have a better idea of which fruit to pick based on this current decision that i'm making so if you don't have that guidance, I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't go look at the picture. If you don't have that guidance already, you have to figure out which fruit to pick. You have to figure out which thoughts. Sometimes you pick a bad one. Sometimes you thought you got a good one and it go bad the next day. You know what I'm saying? So you have to t- teach and learn your s- which fruits you're going to pick. And it takes time without that guidance, baby. But when you got guidance, it's a whole lot better. It's a whole lot sweeter. You get things much quicker when you learn from other people. We learn from the mistakes of others. And I was even reading the 12 Laws of Spiritual Success, I believe that's what it's called. I started rereading it. And, um, dang, what was my point? When you learn from other people, you pass it down. Something like that. But you have to connect with people. 
connecting is the only way that you're going to learn things from people. If you don't connect with nobody, there's no way that you can obtain anything from them. And life is much easier when you get together with people. Especially people who already have some tips and tricks or they're already in the same journey as you or they are already got some advice to give you or they got something and you got the other thing that y'all need to put together to make, you know, the big thing. So work with people together. We have to connect, child. We at this place where... We at this place where we are connected as ever, but also as disconnected as ever. Connected as in, you know, socially, well, medially. Connected with what's going on. You know, we always got the news. We always got the latest app and the latest tweets and the latest updates and the latest who who doing what and the latest everything. But when it comes to people to people, two people in the elevator, y'all going to say something to each other? You know what I'm saying? You walk across, you walk past somebody. Hey, just connect. You never know who you meet. And that's that song that came on. You'll never know who you meet. Just look. By Alice Jamama. Let me see exactly what it's called. Because I added it to my library. Take Me Back by Alice Jamama. You never know who you meet. You never know who will change you. Until you meet them. But, yeah. Um, man, okay, I challenge you. I challenge you today to at least, if you don't speak to people, at least speak to somebody today. When you walk past them, compliment them. I love complimenting people. It's just so, it's so great. And, you know, I was sitting there studying this Bible. And I was thinking, a couple months ago, like, I was speaking to everybody. I'm reading. I see people coming off of I look up and speak. I wouldn't have done that a couple months ago. And I'm like, dang. I see how disconnected I was. I see the difference now. Like, I feel like I can talk to anybody. I think I've seen the, um, the owner of the building. I'm about to see if I see her again. Because I said, okay, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to force things no more. So, I was busy. She was busy. So, I'm like, okay. But yeah, I'm about to talk to her if I see her again. You never know who you meet once again. Cause I I she has those the information that I need. And I was just thinking of the question before she even walked past me. You know? Connect with people. I challenge you to connect with people. I know. I know we coming from that period. You know, all we hear is we don't need people. F people. Um no new friends we hear things like that we see images of always being alone and hating people we see people as weird we see people as i don't like people we see you know grumpy we see uh we see interruption through my day but we got to change that because that's that's trickery that is trickery that's like one of those people that we was talking about that God already what he said, child. God already destroyed that. That that don't make sense. But we like blindly following it because it's what's projected to us and But we gotta choose who to follow. We gotta choose what to believe in. We gotta choose our morals and values. We got to choose what we do, our actions, our thoughts. We have the choice. We may be blind to a lot of those choices for a long time, but that's why I'm here. I'm here to open your eyes to the things my eyes have been open to, and I will continue to do so. <sighs> mm. Look, I will be. I will be who I need to be. Anyways. That's all I got for today. I love you so much. I'll call you back.